Hi, I'm Jim Fisher, Senior Camera Analyst at PC Mag, and today I am working on repairing a damaged DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus that I managed to fly into a tree. Uh, the body shell itself was broken or cracked, so I need to go and replace the body completely. The first step is going to be taking the uh, the camera gimbal assembly off. Maybe, maybe we just take this, pop it up like that, and where'd it go? To undo the screws to hold the motors in place, you want to use a Torx T8 screwdriver. Alright, now all the screws are out. We're going to try and take this thing apart. Let's see what happens. Once that last missing screw that I missed was taken care of, I just need to work the motors through the shell. And I'm going to carefully flip this over. Let that screw drop to the table. Put it with the others of its type. And then, oops. don't do this at home if you're not qualified, which I'm clearly not. I'll try this at home. There's a cable connecting the GPS unit at the top to the bottom that you just need to unhook to get that taken care of. And I have disassembled, partially, the Phantom. And this is what the inside of your Phantom looks like when you're taking it apart like a crazy person like I am. Uh, this is obviously a little more difficult repair job than a standard uh, standard Phantom because of the gimbal having to deal with while you're there. But that gimbal apparently clips out in three places. Let's not break it. Ooh, it seems like it doesn't want to come out. There are three connectors for the gimbal that you can undo to make this a lot easier. Had I known that earlier, I would have done that earlier. There's screws holding each motor drive together. Take some stills of those. There are also screws on the main PCB and another one here, which will need to come off in order to disassemble the Phantom. One of the differences between the Phantom 2 and the Phantom 2 Vision Plus is the Wi Fi module. Because it's just kind of added on later. Uh, to the existing design. It's just to fix with double sided tape and from what I can tell the best way to get it off is to heat it up a little bit with a hair dryer. So here we go.
and that hides the last screw that has eluded me in our deconstruction. There are two screws down uh, by the USB port that you need to undo. And there's a screw holding in the power connector. Which is fairly easy to get to once you get the top circuit board a little bit loose. All right, I've got everything extracted. Uh, it's a lot of screw undoing and fiddling around, but once you get all the parts taken care of, it's a pretty easy job. Well, time consuming the first time around, but I think if I ever have to do this again, I'd do a better job. The On the old case, I actually broke this little retaining module. just couldn't get the clip out any other way, but this is the cracked case anyway, so who cares? So now I'm going to start the process of putting putting the Phantom into the new shell and you know we're gonna go from the bottom components up which makes sense just a matter of remembering where everything was it's important to know because we want to put everything back together the way it was the first thing I'm gonna try to get in here is the uh, power module that powers the entire thing from the battery uh, just because that was kind of hard to screw and unscrew while things were latched together. So make sure I have this oriented correctly. There are these little boards here for the compass and GPS that are hanging out that go to the Wi-Fi module that need to be in a certain place as well. We have gotten most of the drone reassembled. I got the plastic guys uh, these the, the lights that show the LEDs, they connect to the circuit boards and hold them in place. Now we're going to do the motors. So for the top shell, the GPS module, which is, this is the GPS module, it needs to go in the new one. And that just is stuck on. It's just kind of taped on there. I'm doing the tape gently. And then, once that's screwed in, you just replace the sticky part that covers the GPS module as best you can. And this cable will go onto the main board. The GPS module has been changed over to the other one. We are going to get this guy back together.